Hey there, welcome to this video. This video is all about very simple color adjustments for your photos in Photoshop. Now, if you're not an expert in Photoshop, you're not a seasoned pro, you haven't been using it forever, this video is for you. And I'm gonna show you a pretty simple technique on four different photos on how you can adjust some color in your images really easily. So I've got this photo here, pretty nice looking shot. Sky's not looking too bad, got some green trees here, old building, um, and we are gonna use the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now you can get to that in your adjustments panel. If you don't see your adjustments panel, come to the window menu, scroll down to adjustments, and that will open it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on this one here. It's got the three sort of bars across, and as you hover over it, it'll say create a new hue saturation adjustment layer, and click on that. And then you get this um, dialog box up here, and we've got this drop-down box here that says master. Now, what I want you to do here is choose a color, and it might be a main color that's in the image. So on this one here, it could be either blue, green, or even sort of yellow. Um, let's choose the blues. Now, then we've got our sliders down here. Don't worry too much about them. In this one here, I just wanna show you how to make very general adjustments. And then I can drag my sliders. So if I wanna make the sky look a bit more kind of greeny cyan, I can do that. Make it look even more green, woo! Um, or if I wanna make it look more dramatic, kind of a purple. Now you can see here that these color adjustments are only really affecting the blue in the image. So it's not affecting uh, the building, the road here, it's just affecting the sky. So, um, and we can click on this eyeball here. This eyeball in our adjustments palette will just let us preview our changes. So that's our before and that's our after. And we could, you know, have a look again at the purple one, before, after. Okay, so let's go to another image now. We've got the Sydney Harbour one. I've used this image in a couple of other videos. Click on the create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Uh, this one here, let's choose the uh, blues, same kind of thing. And we can adjust the hue. We can increase our saturation if we want as well to make it more intense. And you can make it darker or lighter as well. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the old um, lightness slider. It just depends on what you're trying to do, but it can give your image look, a real kind of flat look to it. So I would, I'd be a bit careful with that. Um, so this one here, let's just play with the hue and the saturation. And now we can click on the eyeball and see our before and after, before, after. Okay, it looks pretty cool. All right, next one here. This is just a picture of a sky. Um, okay, we've got our um, hue and saturation adjustment layer there. Once again, we can, whoa, I'll just undo that. What I didn't do was choose the colors. So choose the blue and then, you know, we can just change the color of our sky and make it sort of a dark blue, really intense. And that's before and that's after. And one more. Okay, we've got this girl here with a nice pink top on. This will be a good one. Um, we'll just click on the hue and saturation adjustment layer here. And now that we've got our hue and saturation adjustment layer, let's choose magentas. Now her top would be closest to magenta and we can change the color of that. So, okay. And you can see, um, Okay, if we go to certain colors, it kind of gets some fringes on it. Okay, about there. You can see it's kind of got some sort of reddy, pinky fringes around there. What we can do with these sliders here, I can just pull this slider out a little bit. And... Okay, that's just to give us a bigger kind of base. And you can see it just kind of eliminates a bit of the um, fringes there. Okay. But we need to be careful, if you make this too big, it'll affect too much of the image. So it'll change like the skin, for example, in the image, because there'd be magenta in the skin as well. But uh, let's have a look at our before. That's our before, that's our after. So we've just kind of made it like a, mm, kind of like a pinky orangey color, really. Orange, bit more orange there. Purple, there you go. Nice bright purple top. Um, so that's some very quick adjustments in Photoshop 
and it's pretty easy to do too like it doesn't take a lot of effort or work to do that that's the hue and saturation adjustment layers the great thing about adjustment layers are if you stuff it up if you make a mistake that's okay you can always double click on the thumbnail and then you can make your changes again so come in here to magentas and we can just change the slider to fit wherever we want to fit it um, or make really drastic big changes Woo! have a great day i hope you've enjoyed this video if you're a bit more advanced than this video that's fine what i'd suggest you do as well is come and explore some of the other adjustment options here so like the curves dialog box um, also the color balance here we've got black and white uh, photo filter channel mixer some of these are very cool and offer some really great options for enhancing and editing your photos have a great day hope you've enjoyed the video of course and we'll see you on the next one